Hi everyone, it's me Sophia and today I'm doing a video on latex and first thing that you guys should know is that anything in between two dollar signs will be processed as latex. I'm going to give you guys an example. If I have math homework and then I have it on sets and on fractions. Then I could add an arrow to make it look nicer. So let's see. Arrow in latex. You could either go on these links right here, or you could go on images. I usually go on images. I find all the information I need right there. And zoom in a bit. And then I have the code slash hook right arrow right here for this arrow. So I'm going to put that in between two dollar signs here. So slash hook right arrow. And then put two dollar signs again. Copy paste that. And that's how it looks. Like that. So this is what you can use it for and you can use it for plenty of other things as well. If I go on this page sets, here is where I use a lot of codes in latex in Rome. And for example, um, empty set right here. I found the code on internet slash empty set. So that's what I put in between two dollar signs. If I take the dollar signs off, it's not going to do anything. Um, another example here, natural number set. So the natural number set is math slash math BB and then in between two curly brackets N and then after that we have equals one, two, three, blah, 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 blah. but the actual thing is N. Now back to daily notes. I also wanted to talk to you guys about if, for example, you want to do super script super script and of course it doesn't have to be any of math of these math symbols it could be anything else as well you just have to find the code so two dollar signs and then we go here and see super script in latex yeah like that Okay, so here to get Okay, so this is for subscript, this code, and this one is for superscript. Copy paste that. Put it in between. So let's say text. And then like that. And that's how it's gonna look. If I took the curly brackets off, it would only put the E um up there. That's why I need to put the curly brackets. Anything that is one character will be what good, but if you don't have to put the curly brackets, but if it's more characters, you have to put them. Next, if I want to do subscript, 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 okay, is this one. that and then do two dollar signs text and that's how it looks and I also wanted to show you guys that if you do if you want your text to not be italic and just be normal like for example the word I have here today just do two dollar signs and she put text before two dollar signs a lower bar then put curly bracket slash text rm did I write it right? okay and then another curly bracket subscript for example any character you want and then two dollar signs and that's how it's going to look it's going to be normal like today and you could do this with um, superscript as well so that was it for today's video it was really just showing you guys the basics and you could find all of these codes on the internet and um I find this very clever feature because you could do your homework in Rome and 
um, write notes in Rome, and many people don't have these characters or, and symbols on their keyboard, and you don't need any kind of software if you're writing in Rome.